um as you guys know paris and i aren't together but we're still making it work with technology we're still gonna film and ring in the new year's with you guys <laughs> Selena here, welcome to Love On Cut. Um, as you guys know, Paris and I aren't together, but we're still making it work with technology. We're still going to film and ring in the New Year's with you guys. So we're going to be talking about our New Year's resolutions and what we think of them. Do we even make them? Um, I personally don't really make them because I feel that it's a lot of pressure. Um, and in the past, I really struggled with putting myself under loads of pressure to do certain things or meet expectations. Um, but this year, I kind of feel it's a little different because of everything that happened in 2020 and almost how it sort of reframed priorities. I really want to kind of stick to that. So maybe not so much a resolution, but almost just like remembering the important things in life so things like making time for your family um, enjoying the little things like going outdoors um, spending time with people you care about and letting them know you care about them I think lockdown was maybe a blessing uh, for Paris and I because we obviously you know are happy and and love each other and care about each other and didn't kill each other that's a joke but there's some people who were alone you know throughout lockdown or were in situations that weren't positive you know you hear about people who you know were in bad uh, situations when it comes to domestic abuse or, or things like that so um or lost their jobs so i think it's just uh, reaching out to people to let them know you care so they don't feel alone um, considering that lockdown is continuing into 21 for those of us in the UK at least which really really sucks but um, yeah we all just have to, to hope for the best don't we but yeah so it's kind of not so much resolutions because they're quite broad but just remembering what matters you know what's important what has got us all through the last year <laughs> 2020 was definitely um something that's that's all i have to say but i'm grateful that my family are okay i'm grateful that paris is okay i'm grateful that my friends are healthy you know and we've all made it through so yeah just just remembering stuff like that to to re to remain grateful to remain um thankful for the little things to family to remember to show people you care about them um yeah that's, that's what i'd say and to people making probably more specific <laughs> and goal-oriented resolutions i wish you well i hope you stick to them and if you don't you know just keep trying it doesn't matter if you miss one day or a week you can get back on it um, and make it happen and yeah happy new year's guys happy new year guys so yeah, I mean, just to follow up from what Selena said, thank you guys for following us through our journey into 2021, uh, which, you know, started halfway through 2020 as a result of the lockdown and the pandemic when we had more time to think and finally put into action our one of our resolutions of the past of getting this uh, YouTube channel off the ground. So in terms of me with New Year's resolutions, um, I mean, look, self-improvement is something I try all year, okay? You, you don't have to wait till the beginning of a year, but it, it does feel different to a lot of people. It just, it just is something that twigs in your brain, and therefore, I think that's why it's a popular choice, you know, when it comes to making, trying to make plans and changes. Um, so I have a very specific New Year's resolution, and it's about reading more books, I used to love reading books when I was a child, you know, then I discovered PlayStation and I just, yeah, I just, that was the end of that. Um, so I still read articles here and there, but, you know, I've, I've really struggled with finding the time and the focus to read books. And, you know, so many, so many topics that I'm interested in, I want to learn about. Um, and, you know, I'm going to, yeah, definitely need to put that into place. Even with my newest 
uh, job situation in the, in the tech industry, a lot of the information you need to know is in books. So that's going to be my simple New Year's resolution. I still have all my other goals from the previous year. Um, I still have a lot of things I'm disciplined with. Um, and, you know, that will eventually pay off. But yeah, if I'm going to add one, one extra thing on, it's going to be reading those books, even audio books. I'm going to, you know, that, that frees you up. If you're doing your running or whatever in the morning, you can do your audio books. And um, yeah, I definitely still echo, you know, Selena's sentiment about just learning how to be thankful for your health and your family's health. Um, and, you know, to just reflect on those that did not make it to 2021 through reasons that they couldn't control. Um, and let's see what this year has in store for us all. Um, life's unpredictability is part of its gift. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to say at this point. And, you know, we'll be back next week at six o'clock GMT. Definitely like, share, subscribe. If you've been feeling all of the vibes, definitely catch up on those 2020 videos. If you haven't already, you don't want to get left too far behind. All right, people, peace and love.